Happy Sunday, everyone. You are watching another segment of Blank Canvas. I'm the voice behind it, Erica, and today the painter that we have is Sharon Volpe. Hello, Sharon. Say, Hello. say hi to the audience. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, who's uh, starting to tune in. And make sure that you send hearts, send thumbs up, smiley faces. We don't want any crying. We don't want any mad faces. <laughs> and tell us where you're from uh, so that Sharon can know. Uh, we have Wes Delton, who already says it looks good. Thank you very much. So Sharon, how, how long have you been painting? I've only been actually painting five years. I, I, I was always very much into drawing and digital uh, design. I just started painting about five years ago. Uh, Janice says hello from Delaware. Hello. Hey guys, everyone who's tuning in, make sure you tell us where you're from. And any questions you have for Sharon today, put them in the comments. We want to we want to see them. She wants to know. She wants to answer whatever you'd like to know about her art. Oh, Wes, uh, who said it looks good, says I'm in Bakersfield, California. Nice to meet you. What's the weather like out there right now, Wes? In New York, it's it's starting to get warm, somewhat. <laughs> so, for anyone who's just tuning in, this is Sharon Volpe. And if you want to look at more of her work, you can follow her on Instagram. Uh, take a look at the rest of her pieces. Make sure that you like what she's got going on. If you have any questions about any of the pieces, or if you want to commission her for something, feel free to DM her. We have Diane saying Apple Valley, saying hi from Apple Valley. Where's Apple Valley, Diane? Kimberly saying neat. Cool, thank you. And Kay saying hello from Alabama, looks nice. Hello, thank you. Wes said it's clear and sunny there, gotta love Cali. You ever been to California, ever worked out there? Yes, I was actually at a gallery in California, the Lose to Jesus Gallery. Uh, they have a big group show called The Coaster Show. And it's a thousand coasters and artists submit, and I, I had my stuff out in that show in Los Angeles. Uh, Kimberly wants to know, is this oil or water paint? Uh, there's a water paint underneath that's a, a, like an underpainting, and right now I'm painting in acrylic on top of the water paint. And why don't you let our guests know how this came about, how you chose the colors, what exactly are you working on today? I'm working on a portrait series I've been working on for a while, um, based on my love of um, art history, portrait, I love portraits, but I'm trying to make it a little more, you know, expressive, add my own personality in. Um, it's spring, so I wanted to put some spring, like flowers and butterflies. I, it's also inspired by my favorite artists, um, Mo Degliani, Picasso, and uh, Francesco Clemente, so it's kind of like a compilation of everything. Love it. Uh, we have Addy saying hello from Boulder, Colorado. Hello. Pauline saying hi from Georgia. Beautiful work. Thank you. We got Beth saying hello from Oklahoma City. <laughs> got a lot of people coming in today. We got Marilyn from Toronto, Canada saying hello. Hello. Sally from San Antonio, Texas. We got Alabama in the house and Canada and Arizona as well. Got a lot of people watching you today, Sharon. Oh, great. It's so nice. So for everyone who's just tuning in, this is Sharon Volpe, and you can follow her on Instagram. And uh, our, do, if we have any artists who are watching today, let us know in the comments and let us know what medium you prefer to work with or mediums that you do work with. And tell us uh, who might be an inspiration um, in the art world for you. We have Agnes saying hello from Indonesia. Hello. And Vivian saying, loving the colors, hello from Puerto Rico. Nice to meet you. Ah, we've got one saying hello from, oh man. It says, Sacachuan, Canada. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Wow. Love the colors she has chosen. Chosen, totally a, um, totally a Springs Works. Yes. Yeah, it's 
spring. Kimberly said I'd buy one and put it in my bedroom. Yeah. Well then Kimberly, you have to follow Sharon yeah. on Instagram. You can look at the rest of her work and you let her know if there's something you want to if you want to buy from her. Or maybe you want a custom piece. Sharon, you're willing to do that, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you can DM me. We have Jason saying, good morning from Birmingham, Alabama. Good morning. And Marianne saying, beautiful use of colors from Concord, North Carolina. Thank you very much. Ah, we have Yvette on. We know Hi, Yvette. Yvette. Uh, what inspired you to create create this gold series? Good question, Yvette. Um, I just, I met an artist a few years ago. His name is Brad Kunkel. He came and did a demonstration and he used gold leaf and he did portraits and they were very feminine and very like inspiring to me. And then I love portraits. I love um, Modigliani and Picasso and Francesco Clemente. And this came about from just the combination of all these things. My love of art history and meeting artists and seeing what they're doing and inspired me to do this series. I like that. That was a good question, Yvette. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, Kimberly said, love Instagram, I will. So she's the one who wants to Thank you put very one of your paintings in her bedroom. Thank you very much. Yes. We have Deb saying hello from Elmira, Michigan. Hello. Bonnie saying cool. And Heather, actually Heather comes on Blank Canvas a lot. So oh. thank you, Heather. You're always, and Engvik, you always come on and uh, show love. So she said very pretty colors. Thank you. Uh, Addie says, I'm an artist and I like watercolors. What inspires my work is my daughters. They are artists and very and have very natural talent. That's great. I think I always actually look at um, young people's art because they're not being criticized yet and they're just going from their gut. I, it's really inspiring. Uh, G Hernandez wants to know, says, hi, how do you clean brushes after using acrylic? My daughter tried to paint and left all the brushes and they dried up. I tried soaking them in warm water, but it didn't clean them. If you don't soak them right away, the acrylic actually eats the brush. You have to try to, t there's a special soap just for acrylic paint in the art store. Ask the art store. Got it. But, right. So, uh, Sharon, what's your favorite medium to work with? Um, I would think that it's, um, actually I mix media a lot, but um, I really love acrylic and I love pastel. Ah, got it. Uh, some people want to know, do you get nervous painting on camera? Yes, I'm very nervous right now. No, don't be nervous. <laughs> Guys, make sure you send her lots of hearts and thumbs up. <laughs> she doesn't need to be nervous, right? Right. We have people sending smiley faces. Oh, you got, you're getting lots of hearts and, th <laughs> and thumbs up. Uh, Agnes says, I need watercolor skits in human and fashion because I'm learning. So um, besides like doing like the abstract art, do you ever like um, look at like stills or anything like that? Or, yes, you know, I, um, I actually draw in, I fill up sketchbooks where I draw from observation got it. almost two hours a day from figures usually or still life, but I draw from observation every day. Because I think when you draw from observation, it helps you when you start to abstract, because you have it in your mind. Got it. Monica said, don't be nervous, you're doing great, and it looks beautiful. My mm -hmm. daughter said she wants that in her bedroom. Oh, <laughs> the bedroom is a big, yeah. Monica, thank you for thank sending, you so like, much. I really supportive, yes. yes. No need to be nervous. You're welcome, G. And uh, G says, G Hernandez says, great job. Sends a thumbs up and three roses. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So there's a lot of people who are wondering, or who are just tuning in. This is Sharon Volpe. You can follow her on Instagram. And um, maybe you can reiterate like what you're working on exactly. Some people are trying to figure it out, who probably are just tuning in. So this is a portrait series um, for springtime, inspired by my love of portraits and um, abstract expressionism. So um, this is um, one of the many paintings that I've been doing in the last couple months, which have figures mixed in with butterflies or, you know, like colors of spring. And um, this is the, it's a mixed media series. It's watercolor underneath and then acrylic on top. And, and how do you choose your colors? 
I, I actually looked at another artist that I really love, um, Francesco Comente, and he had done a series in these colors, and I just was like, I'm going to follow these colors based on him. Francesco Clemente is the artist. Uh, hopefully I'm saying this name right, Noelle. Noelle. Says, hey, that's my art teacher. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Noelle. So obviously Noelle said you're the art teacher. So what, yes. how long have you been teaching art? I've been teaching art over 10 years at high school, and um, I teach like many different techniques and many different themes. And so I try to teach, teach them as much as I can in one year. We don't get too in depth, we just cover everything and then they can go back themselves when they want and go back to what we've learned, whether they like scratch board or collage or watercolor, it'll give them the option of learning everything and then they can go back and study what they really liked on their own. Got it. Uh, we have Michelle saying, hello from Adams, New York. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist, I've actually just gotten into painting. I love drawing, but I wanted to do something different. I realized painting for me is relaxing and fun. Do you feel like, do you feel the same for you? Yes, it's my most relax. I love painting, it's so therapeutic. I do a lot of different types of art, and this to me is the most enjoyable. I would paint even if people didn't buy it. You know, that's how I feel about painting. Uh, we have Ruth saying, I like acrylic because it dries quicker mm -hmm. and I'm very impatient. I have been painting for years. I don't really like mixing mediums on canvas. Do you feel like you're ever impatient when it comes to your work? No, I, I work on it and then if I get tired of it, I put it away. That's usually why I'm working on a couple different pieces at once because if it. I get sick of it, I can move to another one and then I can go back. Um, do you know what's your biggest piece to date that you painted? Yes, it was um, in size. Yeah. 13 by 19. Oh wow, okay. Do you remember what it was of? It was a, an abstract portrait that um, it was the face. Uh, there was a lot of different colors. There was only one eye. It was very um, um, moody. I was kind of going through a tough time and it was very moody and um, it actually just sold. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, we have Jerry Bear Scott saying, I, I draw, but I'd love to learn to paint. So what would you recommend for people who are, whether they're like sketching or just getting into painting or whatever, like what would you recommend? Like I would, this is when I first started painting, I wanted to do portraits and I wasn't used to painting because I come from a design background. I got a book with 500 pages of mixed, like a good strong paper and I painted 500 portraits with watercolor. Oh, and wow. I think that it, honestly, I filled up the entire book and it gave me the confidence to move to canvas or a larger paper or I just built from that. I think you just have to do a lot and so it gets into your body. So you feel more comfortable with yourself. I love that answer. Thank you. Uh, we have Delia saying, watching live from the Philippines. Oh, hi, nice to meet you, thank you. Uh, Nicelia says, is your favorite color pink in all of your pics? Um, yeah, I love pink. I love, I actually do paintings sometimes that are very dark and I use very dark colors, but not right now. I love these colors for this time of year. It could change, but this right now is, yeah, my favorite color. Uh, we have Ruth saying, is it hard for, her, for you to let go of a painting once it's completed? No, not at all. I actually just, move on and I start the next one. I, I honestly don't get attached to them. Like I give them to my friends. I, cause I realize it's a stepping stone and like the next painting will be better and the next painting after that. And uh, if for any of the people he, who are here in New York City or maybe coming to visit, where can one see your art? Um, I have a, a website. I was just in, in a gallery show, but it closed, but all my work is on my website, shop SharonVolpeArtwork.com. Um, and I, there's a gallery on the Upper East Side that he shows my paintings and people can buy them there. New York City frames. Got it. And for everyone who's just tuning in, this is Sharon Volpe and she is our artist for today. Uh, if you want to follow her on Instagram or just take a look at her work, her page is public so you can check it out even mm -hmm. if you don't have an Instagram. I know a lot of people out there are like, but I don't have Instagram. You don't even need it in order to check her out and see uh, some of her work, you know, like like her pieces. And if you have any questions for her, you can always send her a DM or a, me a message and you guys can go from there.
and I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to know who are just tuning in. Uh, is this talent um, something that you've had, you feel like forever since, since you were a child or like, did you go to school for this? I, when I was young, I never stopped drawing. I mean, according to my family, I was consistently drawing. All growing up, I remember drawing everything in my house. But I was also very into other types of art, like dance. So that took me away from drawing for a while. But I would say that it's just like, I kept doing it, even if it's in a sketchbook, I was constantly drawing or creating something or dancing and listening to music. And I think then I just, it's, I also did go to school for art, but I think like some of it was just me. You know, I just loved to draw. Yeah. Uh, we have Karen saying, I'm a beginner in painting. Mine is oil on canvas, but I would like to try other styles and different paints. It's my form of relaxation. I can paint all day long. No, that's great. Do you feel like you get, when you're really into a piece, you kind of get lost in it? Like time just gets away from you? How do you, no, I, I, you work for you? I actually just keep stepping back and trying to look at it and I kind of keep looking at the paintings that I'm inspired by and so that it informs me. I, I really try to be conscious of what I'm painting, why I'm painting it and, um, and take it and be critical of myself all the time. Ruth says, my artwork is on faces now, I face paint. Canvas I love, but not an easy sell. I do have paintings for sale and paint on commission slash orders, but mostly on faces, it's a great job. Have you ever done that? Have you ever paint, painted on someone's face? No, I've never done that. I know that that's a big thing now, uh, to go to parties where there's live body painting and face painting. I would yes. love to, it sounds great. Are there any other artists out there who I mean, besides painting on a canvas or anything like that, have you ever done uh, like the body art or face paint? Let us know in the comments. And also let us know what mediums you use and if you have any inspirations in the, in the art world. Love to know. And Sharon, for, there's still a lot of people asking yes. uh, about whether or not you teach art. So I know you've already answered this, but maybe you can like yes, go into I, detail. I again. teach at a high school in Queens. I teach studio art, and it's um, like a class that covers everything from drawing, painting, collage. It's an intro to art class for students that are required to take art in high school. So it just gives them everything. The school's in Queens, and it's it's good. The, you know, it's a good school. And the kids, I think they pretty much enjoy the class. We have Agnes saying, beautiful. Thank you. And Kay saying, have a nice day from Alabama. Oh, thank you. We hope you have a nice day too, Kay. Uh, we have Masu saying, really nice work. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Tony saying, uh, hello from Gateway City to the West St. Louis. Very nice. Oh. And uh, Teresa saying hello from Los Banos, oh. California. Nice to meet you. Oh, and Jane saying nice sending hearts from Wisconsin. Oh. Thank you, Jane. Uh, we have Nicela saying, can you come to my country, Dominican Republic, and show me uh, the technique you use in your picture? Sure. I think he, you are the best. He, he can, sure, if he finds me a place to stay, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> does he live near the beach? Um, it's a lady. Uh, oh, she, she, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Nicelia, do you live near the beach? Sharon's willing to come if uh, there's beach and mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have Lynn saying, I paint, draw, sketch. Favorite painter is Norman Rockwell. Yes. That's good. I like that. Uh, Charmaine says, just tuned in. What medium are you using? I'm, I'm painting on top of a watercolor painting with acrylic. Golden acrylics. And for everyone who's just tuning in, this is called the Gold Series. Why, why is that? I'm going to um, add gold leaf onto the painting, as you see over here. After the painting is done, I put gold leaf in specific areas and enhance the painting, but I haven't gotten to that part yet. You can check out you know, my work and you'll see the gold is applied. You'll see the gold. 
We have Angie who's saying, wow, beautiful. Thank you so much. You're getting thumbs up. Okay. So for anyone who's just tuning in, uh, this is Sharon Volpe, and you can follow her on Instagram, and you can look at some of her other work and like her other pieces. And um, if you have any questions about her work, feel free to DM her. Her page is public. Um, or if there's something you want to commission her for, or there's a painting that you like on her on her Instagram or site that uh, you want to purchase. Oh, and I see it said uh, in Dominican Republic they are the, they have the most beautiful beaches that you've ever seen yes. for sure. And Ruth says, my favorite artist is Monet. Oh, yeah, of course. Beautiful. Ruth, that's your favorite artist. Are you an artist yourself? Do you paint, sketch, draw? Do you just admire? Which is totally fine, because I'm not an artist, so I just <laughs> admire. <laughs> Which is why I love blank canvas. Uh, Audrey says, I paint with acrylics. Does she like acrylics? Audrey, you, you, you uh, like acrylics? What, what else do you work with? Or have you ever worked with anything else? Any other mediums, Audrey? And are all your pieces of uh, uh, abstract? Um, no, I, I do like a lot of, I've actually done like likenesses. I've done Beyonce and uh, Bruno Mars, and I've done a lot of people realistically um, at, that I show as well. My uh, Beyonce piece was just featured in the Village Voice, which is a paper here. So they can see that as well on my, on my site. Got it. Well, we have a lot of people saying great job. Thank you. Awesome so and nice work. Thank you. Sharon, how do you go about choosing what you're going to put in your piece or how, how it's going to kind of come to life? Is it, do you use a reference or yes. is it just something like you think about in your mind and you're like, I'm going to go with it? Usually I'll look at an artist and I'll see what they're doing, but then I start looking like at books and magazines, like a lot of fashion magazines, and I'll look for models. And I'll look for also reference, like if I'm going to use a butterfly, but then I make my own interpretations from that. I don't like draw them exactly, especially a series like this. I'm kind of putting more of my emotions into it. Since I don't have to get them to look like the person, I can kind of make it more emotional. I like expressions and I like feelings, so I like to put feelings into my paintings. We have uh, someone saying nice and pretty from Seoul. Thank you. Yeah, we have so many different people coming in today. I love this. This makes me so happy. People watching from all over the world. No, that's great. I always have to say, um, you know, I always love to thank the artists, but I love telling the audience thank you so much for tuning in every Saturday and Sunday for for Blank Canvas and um, just like showing so much love to the artists and support. Sometimes they're a little nervous when yeah. they come on, and I always tell them they don't have to be. This is really fun and simple, and they just get to like share their talent with the world. So. so what are some other pieces that you've worked on uh, within the gold series or is this the first part of your gold series? No, you I know mean, how many pieces you have there's the about um, 20 pieces. Uh, it was in a show and there was about 10 eight by tens and then there was about eight four by sixes and I showed them at a gallery uh, show um, called Mad Gallery and um, so it's like continuing now I'm continuing it but they, they were only one person now I'm trying to add in other like more than one face so though that series when I first started I was just doing one person now I'm starting to add in other other people like making it a combination of faces Got it. Peggy says, beautiful from Louisiana. Thank you. And uh, Ruth says, I enjoy her fresh take on not using any transfers or shadow equipment. I think it takes away from the artist's natural ability. 
What does she mean by shadow equipment? Ruth, let us know what you mean exactly by shadow equipment. Sharon would like to know. <laughs> For everyone just tuning in, this is uh, our artist today, Sharon Volpe. And uh, you can follow her on Instagram. You can take a look at all of her work. Uh, she works in a lot of abstract pieces. And um, this is part of her gold series. And I think a lot of people uh, were still asking, they wanted to know what medium are you using and what medium do you prefer to use? I am um, right now, I have an underpainting that's in watercolor and then I'm painting on top layers. I'm layering with acrylic, golden acrylics. Uh, this is my favorite medium, but I actually do paint digitally in the computer in Photoshop. I created like my own brushes. I scan in textures. I, um, I also work with pastel. That's another medium that I'm very fond of and inking. I like to ink with uh, black um, India ink. And so that's another medium that I, I like, but that would be a different theme than this. I don't know if I've ever heard of black India ink. Yeah, it's like it's waterproof. Yeah, Doc Martens Black India ink, that is. and it's nice because you can put it down and then you can paint right on top of it. It's great. So make sure you guys are following Sharon on Instagram, and even if you don't have an Instagram, her Instagram is public, so you can you can still check out her work on there. And if you want to send her a message about any of her pieces, um, she is willing to answer all your questions. And if you guys want to commission her for something or there's something you want to buy, she's open to that as well. Getting hearts and smiley faces. Oh, so nice. It's very relaxing watching you paint. Yeah. Like you have like, I like how you keep moving from like, you know, the paint and then going back to, to, the, to the actual piece, but it's like so fluid. I really enjoy that. It's very I, calming. Anybody I, else out there feel calm when you're watching someone paint or work on a piece? Um, or even when, when, if you're an artist and you're working on a piece, uh, do you feel like it's really calming? It's soothing. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruth meant projectors. I think it's a form of cheating. That's what I meant by shadow. Right, okay. Thank you, Ruth, we appreciate thank, you thank clearing you. that up. No, I know what she's saying. A lot of artists today are using projections. I, I, cause my art is so much based like on my person, personality and my emotions that I just can't, it would take away from like, you know, what's inside of me to come out on paper. Yvette says, yes, painting is very calming. Definitely. <laughs> we have Feli saying, too pink but different with a, with a squinty eye. So they're enjoying the painting, but they might have wanted a different uh, uh, color. <laughs> oh, they don't like pink. Yeah. <laughs> And do you have a favorite color that you like to use the most? No, I, I actually just go through themes of different colors. Like some things will be all blue or some things will be all like really dark reds or like really dark purples, you know? I just, this is just the theme that I, you know, I wanted to try was, you know, more soothing, more for, you know, the nicer weather. Just, you know, it started, I wanted to try these colors. They're, um, I have so many different, it's kind of just depends on what I'm feeling at that time, what colors I'm gonna use. 
And, and what about for the brushes that you like to work with? Is there any specific brush that you like to use? Yeah, they're very expensive. Princeton Art Brush Company. I mean, some of them are like $100. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what makes you like them so much? They what, just, what you it? can, the way the paint goes down, you know, it's like so smooth and um, they just look so nice. A lot, if you can't, if you don't get a good brush, it could really ruin the painting. It's, it's worth buying the more expensive brushes. That's, you know, I think it makes a big difference. And the paper that you use and the paint. Uh, Agnes says, I like blue. So, Agnes, do you ever, do you ever paint or draw, sketch? Are you an artist yourself? Angie says, yes, very springtime. I like, yeah, it's true. It has a very springtime feel to it. Mm -hmm. And Susan says, this helps reduce stress. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if it doesn't sell or you end up not doing anything with your painting, you let, you know, you, it's a, it's a stress reliever. It's, it's, it makes me happy. Just tuning in, this is Sharon Volpe, and uh, you can follow her on Instagram and take a look at all of her work. And uh, her account is public, so even if you don't have an Instagram, you can still you can still check her out and show her some love and support, um, especially for her gold series that she's working on. Uh, but Ruth said, "Have to go. Keep up the the great work. Love your pinks. My mom's favorite color. She passed this year, so it means much more to to me now." Oh wow! Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, Ruth. We're sorry to hear about yeah. your mom passing, but we do appreciate the fact yeah. that you tuned in and you asked so many questions today. We appreciate it. Hopefully, you will come back next Saturday and Sunday to watch our other artists as well. There's still people just tuning in uh, now. Sharon, can you talk a little bit about how long you've been a painter? Is it uh, natural talent? Did you go to school? A little bit of both? Um, I have my MFA from FIT in illustration. So I have like a variety of mediums and techniques that I was taught. But I've been drawing like mostly my whole entire life. So I guess when I, I only started painting maybe like five years ago, I was more into design. And, but it just lent itself, all the different mediums lent itself. But going to school and taking classes with people that taught me different techniques has really helped. And for people who are just tuning in, who are asking still, um, how did you get to this portion of, the, of your piece that you're working on? Um, how did it begin? What are you using? Are you I, using? um... I saw some paintings of an artist that I really like, uh, Francesco Clementi, and he'd combined like two different uh, heads into one painting, and I loved his colors, they were similar to this, and I was like, I wanna do something, so I started getting reference online of faces that I liked, and uh, springtime, uh, things like butterflies or birds. I started drawing them down on the paper, and then what I'll do is I'll watercolor on top of the paper, to, and then, the ones that end up I really like, that I would like to pursue more, I actually paint, I glaze on top with acrylic and a medium, a golden um, medium, that it kind of loosens the paint and it makes the paint more smooth. Got it. Agnes said, I started drawing last year. I'm still a beginner. It takes a lot of practice. You have to be committed to it. If you can try to draw two hours a day, you'll see a huge improvement. And not every piece works out. You know, don't get too attached to it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for, for the pieces that, that you have worked on, is there any one specific one that you remember being super attached to? You yeah. just did not want to part with it? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, there's a couple pieces that I'm like, oh, I really like this in my apartment, you know, but, um, so I just won't, I won't even show it. Or I'll give it to family members or friends because I know that they'll enjoy it. 
but um, most of the time when I paint, I actually want to sell my work. I want people to buy my work. I get excited when people buy my work. I feel like it's, you know, it's As nice. you should. Yes. Yeah. Well, guys, we're out of time for today. Um, thank you so much for tuning into Blank Canvas. And Sharon, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you very here much. Thank and, you. And spreading the love and showing your beautiful talent. Uh, for everyone out there, this is Sharon Volpe. You can follow her on Instagram. You can check out her work. Her page is public. You can like her pieces. You can tell her what you think. Maybe commission her for something or something she probably already has um, that's made. You can buy it for a lot of people said for their bedroom today yes so, the bedroom um that would be something cool but thank you so much i hope everyone has a happy sunday um and make sure you tune in again next saturday and sunday saturdays we go live at three sunday we go sundays we go live at noon um so enjoy your day guys thank you bye thank you